Hey guys and welcome back to Cooking for the Missus. Today's video we are all about the cheap and cheerful. This recipe is one of those that you can just grab the leftover stuff you have in your fridge at the end of the month before payday and you can make this fantastic delicious meal. Today we're going to be making meatloaf and I'm not talking bat out of hell. All you're going to need for this is a whole chopped onion and one chopped clove of garlic, We've got some Liam Perrin's Worcestershire Sausage sauce, half a green pepper diced, We've got some salt and some pepper, one whole egg, We've got a heat teaspoon of dried thyme and half a cup of breadcrumbs. Star ingredient, 500 grams of minced beef. So to start this recipe off, first thing you want to do is get some olive oil into a nice hot pan, followed by a nice big knob of butter. It's debatable what you class the size of a knob as, but you know, it could be something about the size of a tablespoon, I assume. So to your butter, you're now going to add your onions and your garlic. Follow that behind with the diced pepper. The last thing you're going to add to this now is your dried thyme. It's good to add the thyme at this point because it's always good with dried herbs to fry it off. It releases more of the flavour. So you're going to cook this down for about 4, 5 or 6 minutes maybe, just so that the onions have gone nice and soft and the pepper has gone soft as well. Won't take too long to do, just keep stirring it and it will, it'll end up perfect. So once you've got that, you're just going to remove that from the heat and leave that aside to cool for a bit. It's a good idea not to do what I do, make sure you turn your hob off, don't leave it on otherwise you're going to end up burning your house down. Now we're going to get on to making the meatloaf itself. So put your surgical gloves on. And to this bowl we are going to add our mince. Once you've got your mince in, it's really important that you just air it a little bit, just run your fingers through it just to make sure it's all falls to pieces. You want it to look like Medusa's hair. When we're making this recipe, it's really important we don't make it too compact. So in we go with a nice good dollop of Worcestershire sauce, followed by your egg, then with your salt and pepper, in with your breadcrumbs, and then once your onion and your pepper has cooled down, we're going to add that to the mixture as well. So when you're mixing this, like I say, it's really important. You get all the ingredients well incorporated, but don't overwork it. You don't want it to be too compact, otherwise it will go dry, rubbery and horrible. Just aerate it, probably toss it 10 to 15 times. Once we've got it to this point here, it's time to mould it into its shape. So before we put it into the oven, what we're going to do is get yourself a baking tray and get yourself a wire rack just to keep it off from the bottom. Put some water in the bottom and this will prevent it from drying out when you put it in the oven. Now it's time to get your mixture out and we need to make this look as presentable as humanly possible. I know it doesn't look like it can look very presentable, but just make it into a nice loaf shape. Trust me guys, this is actually really, really nice. For seeing how simple it is, using really cheap ingredients, it tastes absolutely delicious. There you go. Once you've got your shape, what we're going to do now is try and prise it off the, tar off the side. I'm just going to add that onto the top of the baking tray. And this goes into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Really important you don't overcook it. If you want to make sure you get perfection, use a thermometer or temperature probe just to see what the internal temperature is at. And there we have it guys. So simple, so cheap, yet it tastes absolutely delicious. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel to become part of the family, and I'll see you in my next video.